earning more than $100,000 with dividends. Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking Stocks and thank you for tuning in today. As usual, we're bringing you exciting content compiled after a lot of extensive research. Are you a stock market investor? We're here to guide you on your financial investments. We won't really tell you how or where to invest your hard-earned cash, but our guide will come in handy when making that decision. Just sit back and relax. We're here for you. Today, we'll talk about how you can earn more than $100,000 with dividends. But before we do so, let's have a quick review of our previous session. Did you get a chance to listen to that session? If you missed it, you can still watch our uploaded video. In it, we gave you a concise guide on the latest stock that hit the headlines. We hope you thought the session was awesome. If you missed the session, watch our video to find out about the stock that's ready to go to the moon. Let's move on to today's headlines. What do you think we have for you today? Well, one thing that's certain, the content is informational and up to date. How can you earn more than $100,000 with dividends? Is it an easy task? Let's find out. What do you need to do? We know that all of us could use a little extra cash, but imagine earning more than $100,000 with dividends. We'll guide you on some of the best ways to maximize your earnings from dividend investing. You probably already have a few tricks up your sleeve, but you could use a little guidance on more advanced strategies. Time for you to earn more with dividends? Let's not delay. You can make as much money as you want from dividends. However, there are certain factors that will either hinder you or aid you. What do you think can stop you from earning over $100,000 from dividends? There are two significant things that will limit the amount you will make from dividends. And what do you think those two things are? Well, here they are. The value of funds you commit to dividend stocks and the dividend yield those funds generate. How do these two things affect your dividend investment? Well, we've gone to the trouble of selecting two case examples from certain financial analysts. Let's begin with the first analysis. First, let's assume an overall dividend portfolio yield range from 2 to 6%. Your portfolio will have a specific dividend yield, possibly within this range. That's why I want to use it, to give a range of outcomes. Then you can do your calculations. Here's the math for each example to come. Amount of dividends per month multiplied by 12 months. This gives us an annual dividend income. Annual dividend income is then divided by the dividend portfolio yield. As I said, I'm going to use a target dividend yield range between 2% and 6%. This will give us a range for the amount to invest. Again, the exact investment depends on your dividend portfolio's average dividend yield, which will depend on the specific dividend stocks you buy and hold. To make $100 in monthly dividends, you'll need to invest between $20,000 and $60,000. To earn $200 a month from dividend payments, you'll need to invest between $40,000 and $120,000. To collect $500 of monthly dividends, you'll need to invest between $100,000 and $300,000. To get $1,000 a month of dividends, you'll need to invest between $200,000 and $600,000. Can you see the pattern developed in this case example? You make your own calculations and project how much you'll need to invest to earn more than $100,000 in a year from dividends. Fortunately, we've prepared another analysis from a financial analyst that might prove to be helpful. And this is the one that we have for you. Suppose you're 18 years old and you've just gotten a job. You decide that you want to start making money from stocks, so you begin to invest. You choose shares of big blue chip firms you look for ones that show healthy growth, strong balance sheets, and a solid history of raising the dividends it pays out over time. You want to avoid taxes, so you open a Roth IRA to hold these stocks. You can add up to $6,000 to this account each year because you're under 50, and that's the limit set by the IRS as of 2021. This move gives you a great edge in tax planning. You'll never pay a penny in taxes on the gains you make in this account as long as you follow Roth IRA rules. Contributions are made with after-tax dollars and they can't be deducted from income, so any money you take out will be tax-free after five years. You're able to grow your money by 8% for the next 50 years, so thanks to compound interest, your portfolio grows to more than $3 million by the time you reach 68 years old and decide to retire. If you invested wisely and picked stocks with an average dividend yield of at least 3%, you could collect about $96,000 in dividends each year. That's cash in your pocket. And don't forget, you don't have to pay any taxes on this income because you hold the stocks within your Roth IRA account. 
This case example is even better than the first one that we discussed. Here you can clearly see how much you need and what you need to do to maximize your earnings from dividend investing. But there's one shortcoming in the second example. We've talked about a situation where you could be 18 years old, but what if you're older? There are limits set by the IRS on the amount you can add to your Roth IRA account. However, if you are below the age of 50 years, the limit isn't as harsh as compared to those above that age cap. What do you do if you find yourself out of the lucky age bracket? Well, other factors apply in such a case. Nonetheless, it all trickles down to how much you're willing to risk to earn $100,000 and more per year from dividend yields. For instance, let's look at a scenario where you can only invest $1 million to earn approximately $100,000 annually from dividends. Let's say you invest in a company that pays more than 10% in dividends yearly. If you invest a million dollars in such a company, you stand a chance to make $100,000 annually from the dividends. However, are you willing to take that risk? There are solutions for you if you don't want to assume the risk. You can get a blend of stocks or ETFs that have a proven dividend track record and you're confident that they will be around for the long haul. You need to know that this will give you peace, not high blood pressure. But the cost is high chances of lower yield. And that's not what we want. We want you to earn $100,000 and above from dividends. So now how much do you need to invest in order to earn such huge amounts of money? If your yearly blended dividend rate is 4%, then your total capital invested would need to be around $2,500,000 to yield $100,000 in dividends per year. If your yearly blended dividend rate is 6%, then your total capital invested would need to be around $1,800,000 in order to yield the same results of $100,000 per year in dividends. However, you need to note that these are just theoretical figures. Diversifying a portfolio where you'll earn 4-6% to is really quite difficult. Nonetheless, ensure you diversify as much as you can to protect your portfolio. As the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Does it mean that investing in dividend stocks can be risky? Maybe a little bit. Everything will be fine if you adhere to the basic things you should look at when analyzing and selecting dividend stocks. All you need to do is first assess dividend safety then calculate the dividend payout ratio, determine the forward annual dividend yield, also evaluate the company's financial position, review historical dividend growth, review also the stock valuation, then finally understand how the company makes money. If you follow these guidelines, you should be able to secure substantial income from dividend investing. However, you also ought to consult your investment advisor before making any decisions. And we'll continue to keep you posted in case of any new developments. Once again, many thanks for joining us here on Stacking Stocks today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, remember to always invest wisely.